We didn't have the money to get them printed. We painted out with small rollers. <laughs> Avery stickers. <laughs> Avery stickers. I had this brilliant idea, I thought. If they stick together, I'm gonna spray them with a clear lacquer. I and mean, it ends up there's a white S <laughs> because the spray was a little too close. <laughs> Do you remember the first Avery stickers that we got? They actually buckled and peeled up. And we finally, with some mortgage money, we had a professional color chart done. No more peel and stick Avery labels. <laughs> Bad memories. <laughs> Another lifetime ago, honestly. We didn't have the money to get them printed. We were so small, so we bought the printed empty version, blank version, and we painted out with small rollers. <laughs> Avery stickers. <laughs> Avery stickers, uh, a sheet of them at a time. We hung them in grandma and grandpa's basement yeah. to dry. And when they were dry, we would sit and peel and stick and make our own so real, <laughs> real color charts. Uh, and this was part of a small company trying to save money. Oh yeah, well any, when we got any the... Any way we could, because we didn't have money, we didn't have the sales. Yeah, and we didn't have the, the money to outlay until we got the second mortgage that, that one time, but initially we, we, we got the quote, it was like, oh no, we can't do that. It was like almost $2 of charts. Oh. We only wanted to print a few, like 10,000 yeah. or something like that. It was crazy. So I was like, no, we can't do that. So we started making our own, but do you remember the first Avery stickers that we got? They actually buckled and peeled up and they wouldn't stick. So we had to get thick, thick, thick sticker stock and we <laughs> were cutting our own because they wouldn't make pre-cut thick sticker stock. We did that. <laughs> we also, the first version we ever did, we had a show, the guy that was working for us at the time and I went uh, near Stouffville. There was a beautiful, uh, board and batten building. I think they made houses, but I, they were doing a, out in the lawn and we had set up a booth and I had stuck the peel and stick on the night before. I had 50 of them, 50 ready to go. <laughs> and of course you get them and you have to. Oh yes, now I remember. <clears throat> so they're beautiful and yes. it was a summer day and the peel and stick, I painted them on and stuck them down, but they, the paint hadn't cured. It was dry to the touch. So when I opened it, all the, that was the sound you got when you tried to open it because the paint. Yeah, they were ruined. It was awful. I, I remember that now. I that think was it was a little bit uh, west of uh, Stouffville. On 16th Side Road. Yeah. And the other beautiful story was that cottage we rented when Jenny was seven years old, I think. And of course we took work up with us, took some color charts up to do. <laughs> and we found, I had this brilliant idea. I thought that if they stick together, I'm gonna spray them with a clear lacquer. And so I'm doing, we're doing these ones and it's at night and I'm spraying them and it ends up there's a white S <laughs> because the spray was a little too close, <laughs> so they were ruined. It was the humidity, yeah. We were bringing the humidity from the air with the spray onto the chart. It's like, okay, <laughs> so another attempt was, failed. That was our, <laughs> our color charts until, uh, and we did the, the uh, border, the white border. Yeah, this was the first run with McCorkadale. They did thought. them for us. Yeah, and we had our little uh, excerpt about uh, the different products so we had the milk paint yeah. the oil paint yeah. and now the acrylic latex at this point and that was probably um well i was still nursing at the time and it's before megan was born so i would think 28 years ago or 27 years ago so that's our first one yeah. we had two or three variations and we finally with some mortgage money we had a professional color chart done no more peel and stick Avery labels. <laughs> Save and, our time for other things. And we got, I think, a uh, hundred thousand. Was it a hundred? Yeah, because we did twenty-five thousand au français and seventy-five thousand in English. And that was yeah. our. Uh, 
Yeah, that was our 32 colors. Oh! Available. Do you in, remember the typo? Uh, I don't have my specs on. No. Oh, Stubridge. We oh, forgot Stubridge. the R oh. in Sturbridge. Oh. Yeah, it always happens. You know, you can look at it 50 <laughs> times to proof it. And uh, yep, there was a typo there. We had started out with 22 historically accurate colors, and we did some research at Black Creek Pioneer Village. And a lot of them are very dark, but they're also very different. But we are also appealing to the exterior painting. So it was a lot of house painting that our products were used for at the time. Not so much furniture, although it did segue into that later. Uh, and then we came out with four pastel colors. And now, I mean, we're over a hundred colors with all the different, the Craftsman era, the Victorian era. And uh, yeah, it certainly has grown. It reflects the company, the, the evolution of these color charts. We started off doing them by hand, uh, painting the Avery labels. We couldn't afford, and we couldn't afford to, to do this, which we've surpassed this by miles now. But uh, the evolution was from 22 colors to uh, 32 colors back in the day, and from peel and sticks, do it yourself, to uh, having somebody finally being able to have somebody do them for us with a bank loan. And that's the evolution of our color charts.